guys, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and today I am bringing you the Ipsy versus Sephora Play Box. Let's not have that upside down. Hey guys! Hey guys, it's Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and today I am bringing you the Ipsy versus Sephora Play Box. So, yes, I get these two subscription services for makeup-y things, and we're gonna see which one is the winner. I like to check it out and see which one is the best bet for my buck. <laughs> and, yeah, go from there. Generally, lately, Ipsy has been winning, and I just found out that I can um, customize it a little more, so I did that, so not this one, but hopefully the next one will be a little more customized for things that I like. So, that was new. But Sephora doesn't do that as far as I know. So, let's see, where are we gonna start? Let's start with Sephora, because Ipsy won last time. Ipsy always has really good bags, and that always ends up tilting it into their favor. So, I mean, I know Sephora is trying to keep the price down, but that's just, yeah. All right, so, this is the booklet for this one, Beauty Set Go. They always give us these 50 extra insider points. Oh, I'm not peeking, I'm not peeking inside, because that'll tell me what's in there. All right. And, and explanation, normally I already am like made up and so I don't want to try the makeup on or the stuff. So I thought today I'll just put on like basic stuff, base, no mascara, no lipstick, nothing, and, and we'll just go. Alright, so, so this says sweat is just another way to glow. Well, that's debatable, but... <laughs> I get your sentiment. So it's got this kind of like mesh bag and this, mm, well, I mean the, the ribbon's kind of pretty. It's day glow. Can I take the ribbon out? Do I want, maybe I just want the ribbon. Let's do that. There we go. So look, let's take this ribbon. I have a ponytail today. Let's wrap it around this ponytail and pray that I don't forget that it's there um, when I go to take my son somewhere later. All right, do we want a bow? Maybe we want a bow. I'm looking up in the camera to see what I'm doing. Pardon me, I'm not looking at you in the face. Boop. There, all right. Cute. <laughs> there we go. All right, so that's a perk. You get a for a pretty, pretty bow. All right, all right, so let's dig into the bag. I'm just gonna dump it on the table. Let's dump it. Okay, first up, we have so, La La Retro Whipped Cream. This is an old-fashioned moisturizer with a whipped blend of African oils. All right, so I'm probably not gonna try this on right now, but let's take the sniff test. Doesn't smell like anything. Looks like this. Looks like that, just white creamy. Let's put a little bit on the hand. Oh, that's nice. Now, I'm wondering, because sometimes I don't know, is this like for a face? Cause sometimes, like with the oil, the, whatever the kind of oil was from the last time, I thought it was for your hair. And then someone told me it was for your face. I'm like, oh. Um, okay, so we'll see. It says Drunk Elephant. Yeah, it does. So I guess that's the brand, Drunk Elephant. Right there. Okay, so then, next up is Tarte Friction, friction Stick. All right, so there it is, and it's triple X, whatever that is. So I don't know what a friction stick is. Let's find out. Oh, I don't, I still don't know. That's what I'm seeing when I open it. Do I take that off? Oh, I do. What the? Okay, what am I, okay, what am I supposed to do with that? What is that? Friction stick, is it for my hair? Oh no, exfoliating cleanser, it says on the back. Exfoliating cleanser. Now I gotta go to the book for this one because I am, what? Okay, seriously, this is what I'm talking about. Some things are just too complicated. Okay, friction stick. Let's find out. What? Okay, 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 okay. Tarte friction stick, exfoliating gel cleanser in a unique twist up stick format. Transforms from a solid to a cleansing lather. Why you gotta make stuff so complicated? I would have never known that that's what that was supposed to be. But okay, we'll try it. Am I just a grumpy old lady? Maybe. All right, next up, I know this brand. We have some Clinique. I'm guessing this is gonna be lip stuff. Let's find out. 
It looks like it and it looks really dark. Maybe I gotta check first, but I can't read that tiny bitty writing. I think this is for the lips. But knowing me, it's maybe not. Sweet as black honey, almost lipstick in black honey. Almost lipstick? Almost. Here we go. This throws me. There's like, I'm looking up top to see. Because this looks like, oh my gosh, it's super dark. And then you put it on and it's almost lipstick. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. I kind of like that. I would have never, if I'd seen this in the store, I would have said, no, no, too dark, too dark. Uh, so yeah, all right, cool, looks good. What do you think? Almost lipstick. All right, it's really, um, not drying. It feels like it's gonna stay moist. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up is, this is It Cosmetics something something, CC plus something. Color correcting full coverage cream. It's your only step. Whoa, look at that. Look at the pictures. Look at the before and after. Before, after, oh, real, real results. I'm gonna have to try this. Because like here, I am like, this is blue. I have to put this concealer stuff inside my eyes because it's like blue, blue right there. I'm sorry I keep looking up at the camera. <laughs> but anyway, um, I already have stuff on right now so I can't try it, but let's open it up and take a peek. Real results, wow, okay. What if this is not my color? That's what I'm always worried about. What color is this? Or does it matter? It says medium. I am usually in the fair to extra fair. So I might just save this for, you know, for a friend because that's probably gonna be too dark for me. Oh, we've had this one again. Hueh! Hueh! Yeah, treatment mask. Hair care, not face care, Margaret. Hueh! Hair care, yeah. Treatment mask for my hair. I can't smell anything. I'm trying to. I don't smell anything. I don't smell. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. Uh, so, yeah, there's that treatment mask for my hair, which will make my hair on again, soft again. <laughs> and then we've got some perfume. This is. Tori Birch, love, I don't even know what that says, okay. She makes shoes, right? <laughs> She's the shoe lady. If I told you that I love you, would you hold it against me? Maybe. Okay, and you know I'm really picky about my fragrances. <laughs> Just shove it right up there. Let me spray it on here, how about that? I don't even wanna spray it on myself just in case. bad. Of all the fragrances I've gotten, this one's pretty good. Okay. Because I'm more like, I like things a little more floral, like light floral or citrusy. And this one's got a like light florally. I don't know. It's starting to change. We'll see. We'll see. I'm super picky. Okay. So that's it for the Sephora play box. Let's see What's the winner? And now this one could have been a winner if it was my color, but it's not my color. It's too dark. Pardonnez-moi. It's, yeah, it's too dark. So, that's a maybe. Hair treatment, we'll see if it makes my hair soft again. The, again, I don't like, why? Like, uh, okay, this one I like. I know what it is and I like it. This one we'll see because Exfoliating stick, it, it, it's different and I like exfoliator so maybe it will be awesome. Hair thing, cream, face cream, that's okay. Okay, so this one's actually pretty good. I got a, a sweet day glow ribbon for my hair. I've got lip stuff. 
I've got exfoliating stuff, hair stuff. Okay, okay, okay. It's looking pretty good. Cream and possibly, possibly perfume. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, not too bad, not too bad. And goodness, I hope I haven't been staring up in the, the viewfinder this whole time because that's really annoying. But let's just go with it. All right, next up we have the Ipsy bag and let's find out what's inside. The bag is, what is it? All right, there it is. It doesn't feel very full. All right, there's the Ipsy bag. Ipsy, Metropolis. Can you see it? There we go, like so. She's a city girl. She's a city girl. Look, she's saying, hey, come on, we're going into the city. Let's go have some fun. Put on your funky big shoes. All right, all right, city girl. Oh, I see why. So I was like, oh, this feels really light. It doesn't feel like a lot of stuff in there. But there's two things outside the bag. I guess they wouldn't fit. So, love recipe, ooh, love, re oh, there's two, ooh. That changed pretty quickly. So here, on this love recipe, she's like surprised and slightly pleased that the dude is bringing her some flowers. And then, story changes. She's like, she's like, oh my gosh, you were talking to my sister. I saw you. <laughs> okay, so, um, love recipe aloe mask. Love recipe acai, 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 berry mask. Are these, no, are these for my face or my hair? Because apparently there's, look, and it's all in like Japanese. Oh boy, uh oh, okay. Is it, oh wait, wait, here we go. Cleansing your face, 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 face. <laughs> Don't drop it. These are for my face. Okay, so, I don't know what they're supposed to do, but love recipe sheet mask. I guess I'm gonna like put it on my face like a second skin. That's kind of creepy, but okay. We'll do it. All right, next up, let's open the bag. Ah, how do I feel about the bag this time? It's okay. There's been better bags, I'm just gonna say. All right, next up, we have this brush. I, you know, I, I appreciate uh, the brushes, but I am not, I mean, some people are real sticklers about like, this brush is only for this thing, and this brush is only for this thing. Um, so, I'm not like that. So I'm happy to use the brushes, however, I just use them. So, okay, I have some brushes, and then we've got something that needed bubble wrap. It's so precious. It needed to be bubble wrapped. Okay, precious, come on out. Of the, oh, it's not even just bubble wrap, but bubble wrap pouch. Is it glass? Oh my gosh. And it's like super sealed up. Oh my God. How am I gonna get into this thing? No, no. Manakadar. Your stuff ain't all that. I'm just saying. Goodness gracious. I need a knife. Give me my knife. Here we go. Where's my knife? I got some teeny tiny scissors. Here they come, teeny scissors. Boop, like so. We went to the Leatherman store when we were in, where were we, Portland? Yeah, got me some Leatherman. Cut open stuff. All right, so here, finally, we're in. Let's see what we've got. This is fantasy, but where does it go? Is it for my eyes or my cheeks? Is there a booklet? Is there a something that tells me what everything is? No, where'd those girls go? Fun girls, where are you? No, nothing, nothing. How am I supposed to know? I'll just use it where I want then. So there, there's nothing. So I'm gonna use this brush, cause that's what I have handy. And this, manakadar. Am I gonna open it, maybe? Good golly, they don't want you to get it. Their stuff is so precious, they have got it bubble wrap it, they've got to ultra seal it, and then you still can't get into it. Good Lord, I can't open it, seriously. I don't want your stuff that bad. I, look, look, not, I'm not flipping you off, I promise, look at my nail. Can you see that? It peeled my nail. Yeah. All right, here we go, this is going on my eyes. Flushy, flushy, flushy. 
on here. Okay, I'm looking up. I should have brought a mirror because I don't, I don't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's okay. It's cool. It's cool. We'll put it on here. Hey guys, how's it going? I know the video just sort of abruptly ended just there. Uh, I don't know what happened. It just like vanished. The rest of the video, gone. So I am showing you the last two items after the fact and in a different location, in different lighting, and every, different everything. Why not, right? Let's just do it. <laughs> so the last two items from the Ipsy bag, uh, one was this Model Co. blush, which was so much easier to get into than the other one. And it was this color blush, which we'll, we'll try a little bit on. I don't have a brush with me. I, I was, oh no. So I was so not prepared, but this was really orangey for me. So um, I might end up using it. Wow, no. I may end up uh, using it like as eyeshadow because frequently I'll do that. I'll, I'll use bronzer or or things like that for eyeshadow, because I think it's gonna do better as an eyeshadow for me. There we go, yeah. It looks better as an eyeshadow. So, <laughs> I don't have any brushes with me. We're throwing all, all caution to the wind now. <laughs> the the makeup gods are gonna come and, and get me, or not. Maybe they really don't care that much. Um, so there we go. Yeah, I think it looks better on my eyes than it does on my cheeks. Uh, like, I, I just use dandelion. It benefits dandelion for my cheeks usually because it's really, really pale. Um, so this one is by Model Co. And I will be using it for my eyes instead of my blush. <laughs> and then finally, we have this Rimmel London Kate. And I think it's like Kate, uh, like Kate, what's her face? The the new princess, Kate. What's her name? Starts with a B. <gasps> I can't remember. <laughs> is that bad? Okay, and then it's just clear, which is awesome because I frequently need just clear because my boys are always wanting to dig into my makeup bag and look for like chapstick and stuff, so this is perfect. I can just say, grab the white one. Slap it on. You know, or if I don't feel like... When you're driving... It can be challenging to grab some lipstick and put it on unless you're a professional and you know your lips backwards and frontwards. Um, but if you're just needing something on your lips because they're feeling dry, you know, this is, it's nice to have some chapstick or something clear. I'm not so sure about this now. <laughs> um, to, to throw on. And it's got like a nice, is it weird? It's got a nice like flavor or maybe it's a smell. So, hmm, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so my Sephora and my Ipsy I think they pretty much tied. I mean, the Sephora may have been a little bit more on the winning side only because that crazy eyeshadow was hard to get into and it broke my nail. So, and I didn't like the bag that much. But then I, I rarely ever like the bag for the Sephora play box, you know? So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Sorry for the abrupt switch and everything. And I can't wait to share with you the next Sephora, Playbox, and Ipsy that comes because I enjoy getting them. And I've got more makeup now that I think I know what to do with. Um, so I haven't had to visit um, Sephora very often. So I, I only now go for my, my basics. And here's the deal. I, had, I didn't get any mascara in the last box. And I'm always, I use mascara a lot. So <laughs> I always enjoy getting mascara. And then the little ones go bad quicker. Or maybe not. Or maybe they just... I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully next month we'll have some mascara. Mascara. But it is February, so I'm hoping. I really thought the December one was going to be something special. I mean, the Ipsy bag was. The Ipsy bag for December was that pink fluffy one. Um, so that was cool. So I'm really hoping that February, since it's Valentine's, they will send something a little more something special. So, Crossing fingers for that. Thanks again, you my you, you mys. Thanks again, you mys, for watching. Thanks again all for coming to watch. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, you didn't tell me that I had lipstick on my teeth. True friends would say, stop the video. Lipstick's on the teeth. I can get it right there. There. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye.